Welcome to the Support Center. My name is Tom. I'm going to talk about a page, a page type, and this is the dynamic database page. So let's go ahead and get started. So when I'm working on this, I like to have a page open or a tab open to the admin site, logged in as an admin, as well as a page open to my website so I can actually see what I'm doing. So we're going to dive in here. So I'm going to go to Pages, and I'm going to create a new custom page. Um, so a database page is basically a, a generic version of a spreadsheet that you can populate. So I'm going to get started. So I'm going to give it a name. Maybe this is my book list for our library or something like that. I'm going to leave including weekly email checked. I'm not going to check public access or archive the page. We're just creating a new page. So I'm going to call this a book list. I'm going to scroll down here and this is a dynamic database page is what I'm creating. So click add custom page. So that part is started. So now if I expand here, I can see I've got a dynamic database page. Here's the one I created. So now I'm going to create some fields. These would be our column headings. And I'm going to add a field. Maybe this is name or the name of the book. Add a new field. Maybe this is the author of the book. And then maybe I've got a ISBN number, something like that. These little arrows here allow me to sort these. I want the name first, and then I want the author, and then I want the number last. Okay. I'm going to go back to the records. Back to my pages, you can see this from the beginning. So here we got dynamic database, we've got the fields we created, and now we can start populating these fields. I'm gonna click on records. So I'm gonna create a first record. So here are those fields I created, name, author, and ISBN number. So maybe this is all the book called Money by Randy Elkhorn. I have no idea what the the number is, I'll just put one in here so you can see how this works. So here I'm just creating fields with records. Oh, maybe this is something like that. So there we have a couple different items entered. Again, I can sort these by simply dragging them up and down. So now we started to create our new page. But how does a family see this from the family site? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if I go to Appearance and Navigation, we'll see this page that I created, Book List, isn't on my navigation. It's Orphan. So I'm going to drag it and drop it over to my site. I'm going to put it out here so I can see it. Maybe I want it very first. There we go. It's the first item. And I'm going to save my navigation. So now I've added that new page to my navigation. So if I come over here to my family site and I refresh, there it is, I see it. And there you can see some of the items I've just started to add. And I can actually sort by these column headings as well. So this is what a dynamic database page looks like and how it works. Uh, very many different uses. I've seen groups do things like populate children's birthdays out here and sort by dates and months, things like that. Probably the most common one that I see is a library system where you can see what books are available. So again, to create a dynamic database page, you go to Pages, you click on Plus Custom Page, give it a name, scroll down here and select Dynamic Database, and then as you're creating that page, you'd see it under Dynamic Databases. You first add your fields, which we did, and you can add more fields if I wanted to, and then you populate those fields by adding records. You can do some other things here too. You can actually import data and you can download the data. Um, importing would be if you had a different source. Maybe you had a library already in Excel or something like that and you wanted to import it. You can use these items to do that or you can download your existing data. If you need further assistance with a dynamic database page or anything else on your site, come back to your admin homepage and click on the create ticket button.